Hi. It's me, Yena. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. If our traveling companions continue to make poor choices, we will soon have every god in this plane and the next hunting us. Lazel risks everything with her childish rebellion. I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Orin could be anywhere, could be anyone. Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Nymphara is afraid. Her aim will be to erode our trust in one another. We cannot let that happen. We need to watch over each other, now more than ever. From the still, dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the black academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Cuel Azol, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself, and I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. He is rather fond of himself. If he truly intends to be the savior of Baldur's Gate, perhaps he has reason to be.
Even if I personally faced down the army of the Absolute and drove it from the city single-handedly, I would not be welcomed as a savior. No matter what I do, the people of Baldur's Gate will always see me as an enemy. I do not want to be tolerated. I want to be feared. Don't you? When we have all three Nether Stars and control the Elder Brain, all of Faerun will have reason to fear us. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm going to make something really good, I promise. The cat peers back. You read something in its eyes. Doubt. Resignation, perhaps. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Keeping very well, I hope? I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like... I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now. Said Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. I could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. 
A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Thou art the master. So it shall be. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Rizel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. <laughs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with her glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful.
wonder if the gods are watching me. Always at your side. Hey, soldier. Ah, oh, come on. You don't mean that. Ah, oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against the Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful. Isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company, isn't it? Unwelcome. restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Indeed. Duke Stelmane, or as I knew her, Berlin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. In a way, but not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. Difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Think that mind 
flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. Belin thought the same at first. You are wrong. Feeling is vital to the pursuit of anyone's goals, even the mind flayers. Like you, mind flayers no fear. Like you, we crave recognition. But unlike you, unlike the others of my kind, I am no slave to either. My end is and always has been freedom. Berlin understood this. Berlin became. attached to your physical form. I suggest you shed that attachment. We will do better against the Elder Brain the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. Let's go, go, go. How can I help? With pleasure. Lead on. the lifetime skill of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. To work together. Strangely enough, I believe him. He's too self-important to be anything but sincere. But even if we unite to command the brain, <laughs> it's not as if we can leave the city under Bane's boot heel once it's done. We'd be back to the same old battle. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash talk of. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? As you wish. What can I do for you? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. This soul awaits thy command.
found you a sight for sore eyes. Of course. Just the one. the Orphic Hammer from Raphael's grasp, and we can free the Prince of the Comet. I'm listening. Kid, are you? The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. Stay here? What if the little frat gets into the basement? My basement? Oh, nothing interesting. Just materials. I'm a craftsman, you see. This man is definitely lying. He's really hoping you don't pry any further. Look, I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. Who do you think you are? Zenobia? People are lining up to break into my property. Do something about it. You paid us to protect you and your... High-quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, 
Anything else is extra. Ugh. This is the last time I hire someone from the guild. Fine. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Now, please show this meddler some of that famous Rivington hospitality. <laughs> <laughs>